This segment brought to you by Kafaru International, gear for life. So, unsuccessful hunt as far as taking animal. Incredible success as far as being with the family. Incredible times. We were there the year prior to this, Marshall and myself and my dad. We all had tags and we had taken three decent bulls there that year. So that is why we we're applying here, trying to get Shasta tag because we had seen so many animals. Shasta applies again, same area, following year and got incredibly lucky and drew another tag. Back to back years. Hopefully it'll go better than last year. Yes. Had a tag here in Oregon. So we're back the next year, same place, same camp, Marshall and the kids and Shasta with us, have another great camp with all the family, we love that. The day before opening day, we go out to do some spotting and Marshall takes the kids to freeze your arse again. And then another spot that they renamed Super Freeze, so you can only imagine how cold and miserable that was too. Them kids are troopers, they, they were there to help their mom and they did a good job. And they did spot some bulls that day um, across there, so we're gonna head back down the exact same ridge we started down the year before on opening day. And as it breaks daylight, we're just spotting across the canyons once again. And it's not, I mean, this is barely after daylight and we spot three more bulls. Kind of like last year, only these are within range, they're close. It's just a matter of getting in a position where we can shoot. So we ease down there, Shasta and I and Candy, and Candy's on the camera, and we're working along there. And Shasta at this point has never taken a branch bull, and she does not care. She is not waiting for a bigger one. We knew there was one pretty decent bull there, but we're going along and she spots this bull and that's it. She is not waiting for nothing else. She's, I'm shooting, I'm shooting. She is wound tight. I can't get her to wait. She's gonna take this bull no matter what. So we get her set up as quickly as we can. Candy's trying to get the camera on this thing before she has to bust the cap because she is not listening. She is gonna shoot something. <laughs> so we get her down there shooting sticks. She pulls that gun up. Candy barely gets the camera on these things. We get very little footage and wham. Shasta just took a crack at one. Pretty sure she made a good hit. Ooh, I have that one. I see your face, Shasta. I'm pumped. <laughs> we don't never want to get too excited until we get over there and find out for sure because anything can happen. Never knew. But I'm hoping she did a good job. Yeah. She set up on her shooting <laughs> sticks and 330 yards across the draw. <sighs> Give it a few minutes and head over there and see if we can track him down. Now Shasta's an incredible shot. The bull was 320 yards away and she made an absolute perfect shot, right behind the shoulders. She was very confident in the shot. I was very confident in her shot. So we wait a few minutes, gather our stuff together, and then it's time to head across the canyon, see if we can find her bull. So when you're out hunting, one of the most important things that you can have is a knife, not just for the skinning and the gutting and all of that, but also just for everyday uses. And especially when you're skinning and somebody usually does get hurt. If you have a good sharp knife like we have Benchmade, we always use the Benchmade knives. It's, we think, by far the best quality knife out there. Um, they're so super sharp and they do such a great job that if you make a mistake, obviously you're gonna get hurt, which happens frequently with Mr. Randy here. So um, you also need to carry along a first aid kit in your pack. Yeah, I, you know, I would say we carry just a little, carry some Band-Aids. Um, I got a few odds and ends in here, not just first aid kit, but a few Band-Aids, some gauze, just some basic stuff. One of the most important things I have found that works so good for all purposes, if you got a little bit of gauze or even if you had to use your T-shirt and you get some vet wrap, you can buy this at a veterinary supply or you can buy it. I mean, they have a human wrap too. It's basically the same thing. Um, we use it for our horses a lot too, but this stuff is elastic. It 
can spin around. I mean, you can cut a little strip off. You can go around your finger, you know, you can do, and it just stays. It just sticks right there and, and it's like, it's on there, it ain't coming off. It, it just works great. Um, I can't say enough about that. It's so simple and light, you know, why not have it in your pack? I am a little dangerous at times. Um, don't cut towards yourself. Don't skin towards yourself. Don't, you know, take the precautions. But every once in a while, we all make a mistake. Accidents happen. You know, it happens. So, And I have had to cut his t-shirt off and use vet wrap too. Yeah, she's passed on. me up <laughs> more than once. Be safe. Get a good quality knife and go harvest you a nice animal. Check out our website, the only place you can get special deals on the gear we use and believe in. Proudly brought to you by Cryptech Apparel. From the battlefield to the backcountry. Loophold, America's sport optics authority. Matthews, makers of the new Halon Bow. Mountain Ops, there's no off season. And Onyx Maps, visualize your success. We are do-it-yourself, backcountry big game hunting. It's our extreme desire.